going guys and welcome to another episode of how to in this episode we are gonna build ourselves a catapult so we're actually gonna use pistons to pull our lever for our catapult to launch whatever it is that we want to launch in this episode I think we're gonna be building a uh, something that launches dynamite that can explode when it hits the ground so let's get beginning with a seat We obviously want to use our armored seat it's a catapult, it's a machine of war. We're gonna need a base for it. Now, the base itself is gonna be fairly simple. We just want to make sure that we have some width and stability because uh, we're gonna be chucking some weight with some force, so we're gonna to want to make sure that our uh, center of gravity is well placed. So we'll throw some steering on this real quick. One there, one there. We'll even that out in the back. Put some wheels. Let's see what we're gonna use for wheels. We use truck wheels. Why not? Probably the best middle of the road wheel is the truck wheel, so we'll have some truck wheels on there. Now here's where we have to build our launcher. So I'm gonna start with a basic frame. Again, this is I'm just building this off the top of my head. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out or what it's even gonna look like. Not necessarily going for looks, more just the technique of building the actual catapult itself the mechanism so we'll start with a couple of arms like this we know we're gonna need some servos that will have zero strength so we'll have our free-floating bearings per se drop get in there there you go select those full circle but zero strength no controls as well we'll get rid of those so now we have to decide how we're going to build our launching mechanism. So we'll start with something across like this. Now we know that's going to rotate and we want to pull it from the bottom to pull through. So if we build something that's at a, let's say a 45 degree angle, say something similar to this. Uh, actually, let's use this piece. So if we use something down at an angle this way let's see we'll extend that out one more maybe like that so we can put pistons on the bottom here and they will be connected to a couple of zero strength hinges small hinges we want a full 90 degree angle so we'll select the strength on those down to zero no controls on those either and now we'll set this up we should copy these back again see now the problem with this is as soon as that pulls down that's going to be too it's going to be too low and it's going to end up pulling this down into the body of the, the vehicle so we're going to have to get rid of those first set and bring this up adapt and overcome so now we need somewhere to connect these pistons so we'll just bring a couple of blocks in like this we're going to select all of our pistons by holding down left control double clicking we're gonna set all of these start positions where we can leave them out it's gonna auto reset we'll start with our speed at say 20 just to make sure that it actually pulls at the right angle uh, and we want to extend those in when we hit the space bar and we'll make that toggle get rid of the control for extending and then let's build that into the world and see what that does so space bar Okay, it doesn't seem to be liking that too much. It's not hitting the bottom, it seems, oh, it seems to be our our hinges. For to try to counter that, we'll move these back one, we'll move these back one, and we'll move these back one, and our hinges will go back as well. And let's try that. Space. I think the problem is, is that these pistons want to angle when they're pulled back. So we're just gonna copy these dead hinges, we'll copy them back and place them here so that it has some flex when we jump in. And there we go, no more sparky sparky. And yeah, see those hinges wanted to bend down and that's where we were getting our problem. We can try, let's increase the speed on these pistons up to 100 and see if it blows itself apart. We can extend this out like this and we can actually get 
determine our range at the distance that we can throw the speed by how heavy and how long we actually make this. So like that, we've actually got a pretty good, pretty good flip and a good launch range. So let's see where our range is. So we'll put a detachable block on here. And just for giggly shits, we'll put a 30 kilo weight on there. And of course, we have to throw a fire pit on there too, just a because. So our detachable block, we're gonna set to space pulls this back and we want this to have just the slightest of delays. So let's try a 0 0.2 second delay. Toggle that, that's already set to space and we'll build that in and see where that detaches. Ooh doesn't like that weight. As you can see, the torque is throwing the whole vehicle. It is throwing our weight, but we definitely need to add some weight to the body of the vehicle here so that it does not absorb our energy from our toss. So we're going to put a couple of these back here, a couple of those there, and then we'll select all four of these and we'll copy them forward there and we'll copy these forward up here. And let's test that. And chuck! Okay, well, it definitely throws further, but uh, it still still wants to lift the whole body. And we don't even have an engine in this thing. So let's drop an engine in there. As most good vehicles will have an engine. We can now drive, but that's not gonna do as much good if we wanna launch something and our whole vehicle flips. So as you can see, the it's the back end that wants to come up. So we can extend this out, actually make it a little bit longer. And we are simply gonna copy those back like this. We'll test that, see if that gives us enough weight in the back. Definitely gives us more weight in the back. It doesn't pop up in the air anymore. We still don't have the full leverage in our catapult. So let's try setting our timing on this to zero, just to see if we're actually flipping fast enough to release it right away. Nope, it just wants to go straight up and then straight down and if that was dynamite we'd go boom thanks to the new update things break apart in pieces now which is nice rather than being able to just one shot something so we're going to set the timing on that to 0.1 should be in between where it just was and before we'll hit space and look at that nice range okay so now that we can actually throw it that far we are going to place some dynamite in between our fire pot and our weight so let's stick four stick to dynamite in there. That'll add a little bit more weight for inertia. We want to double click, select all of our dynamite and make sure that it's not set on space or else it's just gonna blow up when we try and fire it. And now let's jump in here and drive it this way and fire. I think one of the dynamite sticks didn't get programmed. Look at my tire, man. You know what tires cost, man? That one has no controls. This one says space. Yeah, it's always got to be one, right? We're going to try this again. And space. Oh, we still got quite a flip, but we got decent range. And bitty boom. Okay, so now the front end is shooting way up in the air. Nice shot. So in order to counter that, we're just going to move these a little bit further to the front like this. Maybe we even rotate them this way like this, make like bumper. Oh, hey, where are you going? Like this, we make bumper. Maybe we copy one more across like this and just for making it look good, we're gonna do this real quick.
build that in and see if at least we've got our proper weight distribution so it's not flopping around. We got more parts on there so it should help. Boom. Away it goes. Boom. Okay, so the problem is it's flipping forward and lifting up the front end. So a great way to counter that, we're just gonna put some straight suspension back here. Not cheating, it's, it's innovating. Let's say we're innovating. Let's innovate something. So we're gonna just gonna put a couple of 90 degree corners here on the back side. And we'll try putting some wheelie wheels on there. So I don't think it really matters, but uh, we'll just go with the spiky wheel. See if that the extra suspension in the back. Yep, keeps the keeps the back end down. Still fully drivable, of course. We've got decent range. And you might even be able to build something that reloads. So there's the basics on building a catapult. It's always fun. Throw things that explode. Great for catapult battles, castle battles. Make a catapult up on a castle wall and uh, fight against somebody else in another tower. See if you can blow them up. All right, we're going to leave that one here. Hope that's uh, a good build for you guys. Hope you have fun trying to build one of those for yourself. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.